Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, one thing also, this illusion that we have a very hectic, fast-paced life. We're always short of time. So you see, if there's one thing we're all short of, we are abundance in everything else in terms of wealth, in terms of resources. But if there's one thing that we're always short of, it's short of time. And we live like a victim with time and we say, I don't have time for myself. I don't have time for my family. I don't have time to like to do what I like to do. So we need to ask ourselves, how come I'm always short of time? Where is all my time going? It's very simple. If we look at it at a physical level, okay, let's first look at it physical level, then it's very easy to understand at the level of the mind. My body has a certain stamina, okay? One, if my body is weak, just visualize one day I'm physically unwell, my body is weak, everything I do is going to take longer, right? Everything is going to take longer. Even simple thing like waking up in the morning and going to brush my teeth, is going to take a few seconds longer than what it would take on a normal day where I could just quick jump out and reach there because the body is weak. Then getting up, getting ready, doing everything will slow down. Then if I'm even weaker than that, I may not even be able to do everything on my own. That means I will become physically dependent. I will need someone's help, hold my hand, help me to change to everything. This is all happening when I'm physically weak. When I'm physically fit, I do everything on my own and I can do it very fast. So it's not that we have less time. It is just that probably we are not emotionally as fit as we have the capacity to be. And if we are emotionally dependent, thinking that everything outside should be perfect for me to be calm, then anyways, a life of dependency will always be slowed down. You know, physical dependency will slow down my life. I will ask someone, please come, give me a glass of milk. Okay, now someone give me breakfast. Someone hold me, take me to the room. Life will be on a very slow mode. But if I could do everything on my own and I'm physically fit, I will finish all that in less than half the time that I would take otherwise. So one illusion again, we need to change. It's not that we are short of time. We're not short of time. It's just that we are not very energetic here. That's it. So it's not the time which has to change. It has the emotional strength that I need to build up. One, I'm shifting from emotional dependence to becoming emotionally independent. That itself is going to save a lot of energy. You know, throughout the day, being a victim to the world, it slows down because when I'm stressed, I allow myself to be stressed. When I'm worried, I allow myself to worry because I think when that situation changes, then my worry will go away. If I'm working with a worried mind, Think about it. What will happen to my efficiency if I'm working with a worried mind? If I even if I drive with a worried mind, my driving skills will change. It will change the way I will drive my car. So everything outside depends on the state of mind. So let's draw a picture on the screen of our mind. The mind is the seed and the rest is the tree of our life. The mind is the seed. The rest is the tree of our life, the body the work, the relationships like that. And the tree gets bigger and bigger. But the seed, you know, but the seed is not visible to anybody. So even if you walk into a garden, you're never going to say, how powerful is the seed? We never ever think and speak about the seed. We only talk about the beautiful flowers. We talk about the fruits. Nobody talks about the seed because it's something which is not visible. Look at a house. Nobody talks about the foundation. Oh, what a powerful foundation. Nobody talks about it. So what a beautiful house. What lovely furniture. What pretty curtains. So what happens? The world is focused only on what is visible and not what is not visible. So even we started focusing only on what is visible and we did not take care of what is not visible. So first thing is we put it on our priority. We first prioritize. Why do I need to take care of my mind? To remember it's the seed of my life and the quality of the seed will decide the quality of every flower leaf fruit on this huge tree of my life so my seed is important it takes only few minutes to water the seed but if i had to wash every fruit and flower it will take the whole day and still it will i will not complete the tree then i'm short of time then i'm always short of time because i'm trying to wash every leaf and flower 
So one, I prioritize taking care of the mind. Second, simple lifestyle habits. These are such simple lifestyle habits that little kids can start doing it from today. First habit that we need to take care of is our sleep cycle. Our sleep